Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? How are you today? Hola amigos, como están? Como están? Como están? Hola amigos, como están? Como están hoy? Hello everyone! Hola amigos! How are you guys doing today? My name is Norlise and I work for the Orange County Library System and I am so thrilled to be with you today. Today I'm going to be sharing a story with you and some really fun bilingual songs. So we're going to be doing this all together today. While we sprinkle in some Spanish vocabulary, I'm going to ask you to repeat after me. So be ready throughout the story time, okay? I would like to start off with a fun song that will get you moving. Did you know that we can make music with different, body, different um, parts of our body? Sure we can. We can clap our hands and make a beat. One, two, three. Can you clap your hands and make a beat? One, two, three. Very good. We can stomp our feet and do that same beat. Ready? One, two, three. Very good. Now, can you make a tune with your mouth? We could go la la la. Can you do that? Let me hear you. Good job. Nice job. Now, with our hips here, we're going to be going cha cha cha. So we can put our hips, our fist up like this and go cha cha cha. See? We can make and move around to music and all the things we could do with our body. So, I'd love to share a song with you. This one's called My Body, My Body. And it goes like this. My body, my body makes music. My body, my body makes music. My hands go clap, clap, clap. <gasps> Did you clap your hands with me? Try it, ready? My hands go clap, clap, clap. My feet go stomp, stomp, stomp. <gasps> Did you stomp your feet? Good job, let's try that again. My feet go stomp, stomp, stomp. My mouth goes la, la, la. Did you guys hear yourself? You just sang a tune. Let's do that again. My mouth goes la 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 and my hips go cha cha cha. Good job. Very good. Now I'd love to sing that song in Spanish with you. It goes like this. Mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo hace música. Mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo hace música. Mis manos hacen very good. These are your hands. Manos. Mis manos hacen. Mis pies hacen. That's right. Stomp those feet. Here we go. Mis pies hacen. Mi boca dice la la la. Mis caderas hacen cha cha cha. <laughs> Very good, friends. I hope you like that song. It's one of my favorites. Now, talking about different parts of our body, would you help me sing the song Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes? You can stand up, but I'm going to stay seated here just so you can see me on your video the entire time. But feel free to stand up and have some fun standing up on your feet. We're going to start on the top here with head and then go down our body. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, and eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Very good. Good job. Now, do you know how to say those different parts in Spanish? Let me teach you. Your head is cabeza. Can you say cabeza? Good job. Now we have our head and our shoulders. These here are hombros. Can you say hombros? Good job. We're going to go down to our knees. Can you say rodillas? 
rodillas. Very good. And all the way down, reach, 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 reach down to those toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes and your feet. Can we say pies or dedos? Very good. How about eyes, ojos? Can you say ojos? Good job. For your ears, orejas. Can you say orejas? Good job. We have that mouth. We've heard that one before. Boca. Good job. And our last one right in the middle is our nose. Boop. Good job. Can you say nariz? Nariz. Very good. Now let's sing head, shoulders, knees, and toes together in Spanish. Goes like this. Cabeza, hombro, rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. Cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. Ojos, orejas, boca y nariz. Cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. Good job, friends. Nice, nice job. So today, I would love to share a story with you. And this story is about a lion. Do you know how to say lion in Spanish? Lion in Spanish is león. Can you say león? Let me hear you. Good job, that's exactly how you say it. Can you roar like a lion? Can we roar really loud, ready? Roar! Good job! Now my other friend in this story is a mouse. Un ratoncito. Un raton. Can you say raton? Good job. That's a mouse in Spanish. And when we say ratoncito, we like to think that's a little mouse. Un ratoncito. Want to try that one out? Let me hear you. Ratoncito. Good job. That's exactly like you, as you, that's exactly how you say it. So I'm gonna bring out my little characters. Here's my ratoncito here. He plays a very, very important role in our story. He's actually gonna teach us something pretty cool. And here's the lion. We're gonna put our lion right next to him here. There he is. Now, this is the story of the lion and the little mouse. Once there was a lion in the forest, he's soundly asleep. He was so tired that day he went into his den and just fell asleep. Now, a little mouse went out for a walk that day in the forest and without noticing, he walked right over the lion's paw and it startled the lion and he roared, roar! Can you roar like a lion? Roar! He roared really, really loud and he looked down at that little mouse and told the mouse, well, you look like an amazing dinner. And the little mouse looked at him and he was really scared. Squeak, squeak! Lion, don't eat me, don't hurt me. I promise, I promise one day I could repay you for your kindness if you let me go free. The lion looks at the little mouse and starts to laugh. <laughs> you help me, the king of the forest? How can you help me? The little mouse looks back, squeak, squeak. I don't know right now, but I know I'll be able to help you one day. And if given the opportunity, I will. Well, the lion kind of hoped for that one day to see what the little mouse can do. So he let him go free. <laughs> that mouse ran as quick as he could, squeak, 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 away. Now, a few days went by and the lion took a few naps and one day he woke up from this nap and he was feeling really, really hungry. He goes off into the forest to find some food and <gasps> trap! He trapped himself and walked right straight into a net. Now this net was on him and oh no, he really wrestled 
through the net and couldn't set himself free. So he roared as loud as he could. Roar! Can you get the loudest roar you've ever done? Try it. Let's do it together. Roar! Very good. And so he roared. And guess who heard that roar so loud? A little mouse. A little mouse came back to the lion and said, Oh no! Squeak, squeak, squeak! Squeak, squeak! Lion, it looks like you need some help. May I help you? And the lion looks at the little mouse and says, How are you going to help me? Well, I could help you set free. I can nibble on the rope of the net and then we can set you free. And he's like, okay. So the little mouse got to work. Can we nibble? Can we pretend to nibble on a little net, like a big thick net, just like that? He was like, <coughs> nibbling and nibbling, working really hard until snap, the net broke and the lion was able to set himself free with the help of the little mouse. Now the little mouse and the lion walked away together and they were perfectly safe and fine. The lion looks at the mouse and says, thank you little mouse. You know, even though you're small, you're a big helper and a really good friend. The end. And that's the story of the lion and the little mouse. Hey, this story got me thinking. Nowadays, I think there are a lot of our friends and families that can use some of our help. Maybe you could be just like the little mouse in this story. You could be a big helper to your siblings. You could be a big helper to your neighbors or a really good friend or even a stranger. You could be a good friend these days. So the next time you find some time to help someone, remember the story about the lion and the little mouse. You're never too small to help someone out. I'd love to share something else with you today. I have another friend. He's another little mouse here. This little mouse likes to play. And so we're gonna put our little mouse here and he likes for you, he would like for you to look at his houses and we're gonna talk about the colors of the houses. This house here is the color blue. Blue in Spanish is azul. Can you say azul? Azul, very good. Now, Little Mouse has another house he likes to play in and this one is red. Can you say rojo? Rojo, fantastic, good job. Now we have another house here and this one is yellow. Can you say amarillo? Amarillo. <laughs> Very good. That one's a little long. We have another house here. Oh, this one's my favorite color. It's green. Can you say verde? Verde. Very good. Now if you thought that yellow was a little challenging, our last house here is orange. Orange in Spanish is anaranjado. Can you say that? Anaranjado. Very good. Nice. So we have all of our houses here. And Little Mouse, he likes to play hide and seek. And there's a chant that goes like this. Little Mouse, Little Mouse, are you behind? And then we'll say the color house we'd like to look behind this house. And then he's gonna hide behind a house. So in order to hide behind the house, you have to close your eyes. No peeking. Put your hands over your eyes like this and no peeking. And Little Mouse is gonna hide behind one of the houses. I'm gonna count up to five. When I get to five, then you can take your hands off your eyes and peek, okay? So let's put our hands over our eyes just like this and keep them on your eyes. One, keep them there. Two, keep them there. Three, keep them there. Four, keep them there. And five, peekaboo! <laughs> just kidding, friends. <laughs> so, let's try to find our little mouse. Look, he's not standing there. ¿Dónde está ese ratoncito? Ratoncito, ratoncito. Little mouse, little mouse. Are you behind the blue house? La Casa Azul? Let's see if he's behind the blue house. 
No, he wasn't there. Ugh, he loves to hide. He's really good at hiding. Let's try the red house. Little mouse, little mouse. Are you behind the red house? La Casa Roja? Let's see. No, he wasn't there. Okay, we have three houses left. Let's see. Um, let's go with the green house. Remember, green's my favorite color. Let's go with green. Little mouse, little mouse. Are you behind the green house? Hmm, la casa verde. Let's see. No, he wasn't behind the green house. We have two houses left. Hmm, should we try the orange house or the yellow house? The yellow house? Okay, let's try the yellow house. Here we go. Little mouse, little mouse, are you behind the yellow house? La Casa Amarilla? Let's see. You guys were right! There he is! Very good, very good. So our little mouse was behind the yellow house. And we have one last house right over here. La Casa Anaranjada, the orange house. We're going to put our orange house right up here. And I'm going to bring back my houses because we're going to use these houses to count. And I will point at the houses and you will help me count them out loud. We're going to start over here with the red house with the number one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Good counting. Can we try to count in Spanish? I bet you can do it. Ready? Let's start with uno. Here we go. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Muy bien. Good job. That was really good counting. You know what? We could do more counting. We could count up to 10. I think we could practice them. See, we have two hands and how many fingers? That's right, 10 fingers. So we're going to use our hands and our fingers to count today. This song goes like this. Two little hands, ten little fingers. Two little hands, ten little fingers. Two little hands, ten little fingers. Count them all with me. Let's count them in English. Here we go. One, two, three little fingers. Four, five, six little fingers. Seven, eight, nine little fingers. And one more makes ten. <laughs> job. Very good. See, we have two little hands and ten little fingers. You know where I'm going. We're going to try this in Spanish. It's really easy. If you don't know the song yet, just join me with your hands. Bring your hands out right in front of you, just like me, and wiggle those fingers. Very good. And we're going to sing it in Spanish. It goes like this. Dos manitas, diez deditos, dos manitas, diez deditos, dos manitas, diez deditos, cuéntenlos conmigo. Ready? We'll take it slow. Here we go. Uno, dos, tres deditos, cuatro, cinco, seis deditos, siete Ocho, nueve deditos, uno más son diez. Muy bien. Good job, guys. I'm so excited that you guys are doing this with me and learning how to count and practicing our colors. How fun is this? I'd love to do another song with you. We're going to sing Row, Row, Row Your Boat. And so let's get into our pretend boats. We're in it. We're gonna get our paddles and we're gonna get ready to go, okay? And sing along with me. Row, row, row your boat. Here we go, rock back and forth. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Again, row, row, row your boat Gently down the stream, 
Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Very good. We're going to sing the song in Spanish now. So rock back and forth. Here we go. Rema, 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 tu bote suave por la corriente. Alegre, 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 la vida es como un sueño. Pretty cool. Let's take it slow. Here we go. Rema, 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 tu bote suave por la corriente. Alegre, 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 la vida es como un sueño. Very good. Thank you for joining me singing that song. Now, can you guys help me pretend? We're still sitting in our boats here, and I think a little friend came along with us. If you look down, there's a tiny, itty bitty little spider, and he's in your boat, and he loved your singing and rocking him down. And now he likes, he would like for you to sing his favorite song. Let's pretend. Let's pick him up and bring him here. He loves the song, The Itsy Bitsy Spider. Sing it with me. Here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Good job. Let's sing that in Spanish. Here we go. La ranita pequeñita subió, subió, subió. Vino la lluvia y se la llevó. Salió el sol y todo se secó. Y la ranita pequeñita subió, subió, subió. Muy bien. You're doing such a good job. I'd like to share one last song with you, and it is Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Would you bring out your hands like this and have your stars twinkle so bright? And let's sing it together. Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up, up, up. to do some songs in English and in Spanish and to hear a fun story. So I'd like to say thank you. My hands say thank you with a clap, clap, clap. And my feet say thank you with a stomp, stomp, stomp. And I roll my hands together and I wave goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Thank you for coming today. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be the first to find out when we have new fun and informative videos for you. Orange County Library System is your place to learn, grow, connect.